Hey everybody, Dairy Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Color X Malice along K. Okazaki's route. He has greatly endeared himself to me by making a manly move on me in the last episode, so I believe that's the only tender moment Ichigo has had in this entire game. I mean, we still have Takeru to go through, but I have the feeling he's not going to. Oh man, the feels I've got with Okazaki now. I mean, I really thought Shirashi was going to be it for me, but Okazaki has totally taken over. I mean, he's got like a bit of everything. You know, he's got the adorable puppy dog thing, but he's also got that dark side. And he's strong and everything. Just, oh, everything I love. And now that he's no longer quite so suicidal, I think he's perfect. Alright, so anyway, hopefully he's figured out that uh, something was wrong. His instincts were totally on point. So hopefully he has followed me here. Let's find out. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Even if we kill each other, I was fine with that. My cholera, that is. I cut the root of this disaster by my own hands. I'd tear Adonis and liberate Shinjuku. My drive hadn't changed. When I convinced myself, my phone vibrated in my pocket. <sighs> I looked at the screen and gulped. Okazaki? Hello? What is it? I forgot to tell you something. You're at home now, right? Uh, yes. I lied quickly. I got off the street, stepping quietly, so that the background noises wouldn't be heard. Did you forget something here? You can come by tomorrow. Hey, remember how I said that I wouldn't forgive you if you broke our promise? Err. Why did you lie? <sighs> oh my god, my heart hurts. It was obvious that there was naked anger in Okazaki's voice. The blood drained from my face. Oh, um, I just left to go to the convenience store. Not that. Why are you trying to leave me? He's probably here. <sighs> You're trying to get to the Adonis base on your own, aren't you? How did he... Wh what are you talking about? Why are you being like this? It's weird. If the base has been found, the raid got delayed, and Adonis has started prepping to evacuate. The person who gave you that collar wouldn't just let you go. They would have contacted you somehow. What did they say to you? Did they threaten to kill you if he didn't come, or...? It's no good. I can't trick him. I just have to hang up. Did they say they'd kill me? Hmm... Okazaki. I turned around and he was standing right there. Did you think I wouldn't see through your lies? I must pee, and I'm pretty good at tailing people. I'd never miss all the small tells you showed. I was kind of counting on it. I was wishing Ichika would have counted on it too. I don't mean to brag, but I know far more about you than that collar does. Did you think you could get away? N no this is... Is what? Hey, do you even know how angry I am right now? He looks crazy with those eyes. I could tell. He looks sterner than I'd ever seen before. He'd obviously figured everything out. I didn't know if assassins were lurking nearby. I have to throw him off somehow. I hate you now, Okazaki. Ugh. It's killing me to say that, but... Nah. Come on, he's not stupid enough to fall for that, right? I... I hate you now, Okazaki. Ugh. So, I wanted to run away from you, even if I had to break the promise to you. I'm sorry you had to come all this way, but please, leave me alone. <sighs> you really are stubborn, and a terrible liar. You're also reckless, and a huge idiot. <laughs> what? I'm really angry. I must be an even bigger idiot to love you this much. Oh, that's my puppy dog. An angry puppy dog, but, but still a sweetie. Let's assume that you're telling the truth. Why do you look like you're about to cry then? <sighs> I love your smile. I can tell right away if it's fake or not. You can't play dumb with me. The caller probably made some demands using my life as a bargaining chip. That's the only explanation that makes sense. No, I... Enough. Be quiet. Uh? Oh. Oh, God, 
I love Kay. Okazaki. I felt like I was going to die. You left without saying a word, and you decided to sacrifice yourself. Do you have any idea how much that hurt me? You really don't understand a thing. You have no idea what it would mean if I somehow lost you. Well, now you know how I felt when you were trying to get yourself killed. No, let me go, please. Didn't I tell you to be quiet? Just listen to what I have to say. I'm not dying, no matter what happens. And you're not running away from me, no matter what. You're trying to break the promise way too early. Seems I have to treat you just like I do Mineo. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'd never expected to hear words like that coming from Okazaki's mouth. I tried to search for a retort. Th there's no other way. There are lots of options. Besides, you said we tried to find a way together. Yet, you lied and broke our promise. I'm more shocked than angry right now. <sighs> Even if they said they'd kill me if you didn't obey, I'd just die if you sacrifice yourself. Don't you understand that? Give me a break already. If you're going to make me hurt this much, then it'd be better to just die together. D don't say things like that. You're the last person who should be saying that. That's how I feel too. Ichika, don't run away from me, please. I promise you that I won't die. I won't let you die either. I won't let you be alone. If you refuse, I'll follow even if it kills us. Why? That doesn't make sense. You need to realize how desperate I am. If you don't get it, then I'll just have to never let you go. You're the one who made him realize the value of his life, Ichika. Live with the consequences. I... I don't want to lose you, Okazaki. Then listen to me. Put your faith in me and not that collar. Please, don't try to leave me. How can I possibly say no when you put it like that? Yeah, you can't. So you don't have to think about it anymore. Don't think. Just stay with me. I'll protect you from anything, no matter what. All you've done is call me stupid. Do you even have a plan? It's still better than following your judgment. <laughs> what? No plan at all is better than my judgment? But, but I made up my mind. You're saying that while crying your eyes out? You're the one who told me that my death wish was just cowardice. <sighs> I'll be alright. I'll protect us. He is SP after all. But the collar, they could be targeting you even now. What would you do if I died here? Huh? If I died right in front of you, don't you think that you want to die too? To be honest, I might come to that conclusion. I think the enemy knows that too. Yet, they demand that you come to their lair. If that wasn't possible, then they just kill us both. So, let's go together. If it's a problem, then only I need to die. But, but... There was no response from the caller. Maybe it meant that they didn't care if Okazaki came along. You'd still go even if I tried to stop you, right? Yes, it's not just about the deal. This is my problem, too. The police couldn't act. If I could infiltrate Adonis, then it could allow the police to make their assault. That's what I thought. You're really hard-headed. This doesn't look like it'll be over unless we find whatever the color came for. Or color-er? And besides, I don't like watching the woman I love in this condition. Is that how you view the problem here? Yeah, I like to keep things simple. The only path is a head-on fight. Oh, jeez. Okazaki, I was still hesitant. If Okazaki died because of me, the mere thought of it was still terrifying to me. But he tightly held my hand. It was colder than usual, and I was near tears. If I let go of his hand now, then he might really choose to die. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm so happy that he did follow me. I knew he was that smart. I knew his intuition would bring him. The tunnel should be around here. We arrived in an underground tunnel that had been neglected for years. It opened into a construction site, but it was unclear what was supposed to have been built here. 
Perhaps it had been created as an underground passageway, or a construction is stalled midway. It's dark. I don't see anything that looks like a security system so far, but we don't know what's waiting for us. Yes, let's proceed carefully. The sound of her footsteps echoed in the silent gloom. I'm sure that the people in Adonis had things they want to protect. Okazaki murmured. I was surprised by the sudden remark, but when I saw his sad eyes, I understood. He was probably thinking of his lost comrade from two years ago. We found the hideout because Tsukushima's family gave us intel about Adonis. Huh? If the fact that he was a spy hadn't been covered up, the investigation might have gone faster. That may be wishful thinking, though. But without the cover-up, maybe the number of victims would have been much smaller. Maybe you wouldn't have been collared. Okazaki, who had seen the darkness in the police, had thought that much about it. Well, no use crying over spilled milk. Each little scandal piled on top of the other, one by one, until over time, they became a towering cost. I still think that the police are necessary, but if I want to survive, I know that I have to face this. This isn't just to protect you. I'm standing up to Adonis now to secure my own future. Okay. Okazaki's future. Hopefully I'm in it. I was overjoyed just to hear him speak of it as something he wanted. I've been thinking this for a while. Your colleague, Tsukushima, might have been an Adonis spy, but... I think that he threw himself in harm's way to save you out of his own free will. I'm sure he actually wanted to protect you. <sighs> Whatever his circumstances, the fact of the matter is that he chose to protect you. You made him feel that way. So, I don't believe that he regretted his decision. Yeah, maybe you're right. If he actually was the man I knew. Thanks, Ichika. Okazaki looked over with a small, yet lonely smile. Yeah, I think his last words were more like, he felt kind of bad that he betrayed what he thought was his last calling with Adonis. To save Okazaki instead, he probably wavered on that brink between the duties between the two. We trudged through the tunnel for a while, until it finally opened into a clearing. Looking around, there were no signs of people, nor could I hear any sound. Nobody's here. Because it's been evacuated. If their base was compromised, they might have already moved. Adonis would have likely vacated the premises before the police could raid it. But if the owner of the collar said to come, then there should be somebody here. Thinking, I walked a few more steps. Huh? Sanjo? Zero? Is that one of you two? I heard a noise from the collar and tensed up in anticipation. Are you okay? Yes. The strange noise stopped, but there wasn't a voice either. What was that? Then, I heard footsteps approaching from behind. Okazaki quickly spun around to shield me from whatever approached. Hey, Sanjo. So, you both came all this way. Sanjo! I knew you weren't some underling. You're free to come and go. Are you a leader? Nah, I'm not a big shot. I just showed up because the boss called me. Boss? The master of that girl's collar. You heard a voice from the collar every so often, right? The person who runs Adonis. Who? Who knows? I've never seen the boss's face. We pawns just carry out our orders. Sorry, but I don't have the slightest idea why he collared you. That goes for the other attacks, too. The others don't even know about this place, and they have no way of knowing what the boss thinks. They were all invited to Adonis fairly recently. Civilians whose revenge was ex Civilians whose revenge was exploited. <sighs> the people who had committed the X-Day crimes were not originally terrorists. But Sanjo, who knew this place, held a position that had contact with the leaders of the group. Yet... Not even Sanjo had seen what their boss looked like. Just, who could it be? I was lost in thought for a moment before I realized that Sanjo was staring at me. The boss told me to bring in the girl. I was also told to take out anyone who gets in the way. 
Those words made my blood run cold. Okazaki swiftly moved his hand to his holster, ready to draw at any time. Ah, uh, shouldn't I do the same? Two guns are better than one? But it'd be boring to play along. For the knight in shining armor who escorted his princess all this way, I'll give you a chance. Huh? I didn't immediately understand what Sanjo was saying. Your boss can hear us through the collar. Doesn't that betrayal put you at risk? Okazaki asked the same question I'd been thinking. When he did, Sanjo just grinned with amusement. Oh, I've got nothing to fear right now. I've jammed the caller's transmissions. It'll be good for at least 30 minutes. Oh. Resourceful, aren't you? Though, I'm dead if they find out I'm the one responsible. Wait, that's a huge risk to you. What do you want? Sanjo didn't... Sanjo didn't stand to gain anything from this move. Oh, I never had an interest in the future of this group, or Japan. They could both go to hell for all I care. But, if I was going to die anyway, I figured I might as well try fighting the so-called justice of the police. <sighs> Okazaki, do you still believe in the justice that the police protect? I've never thought that the police were completely in the right to begin with. But there's one thing that's important to me. I can't lose it for my own sake. If Adonis tries to break it, then I'll have to destroy them. Simple as that. Oh... You changed in the past few days. I like that new look on your face. Well, I'll have you play along anyway. To me, you police are the personification of malice itself. Okazaki, I challenge you to a match. Uh. If you win, I'll take off the girl's collar. If I win, well, sorry, but you need to die. Another contest? What is it this time? We'll see who's the quicker shot. See that clock? When the hand strikes zero, draw. Fine. I accept your challenge. Okazaki! Without thinking, I grabbed his arm and pulled him toward me. He placed his hand over mine and gave me a calm smile. I'll be okay. I promised I wouldn't die, remember? I'm holding you to that, seriously. But... When I saw Okazaki's honest eyes... I knew that there was no stopping him. But it didn't ease my anxiety at all. I won't lose. If I can remove your collar, I'm going to win. He squeezed my hands and closed his eyes as if collecting himself. Then, he slowly opened them again and took a step towards Sanjo. <sighs> Dan, they are both really hot. In this world... Victors have the stronger beliefs. If you win, then your convictions are just. That's right. But I've been thinking, Sanjo. There are as many types of justice as there are people. But I think they're all basically similar. <sighs> Everybody has something they want to protect. Whatever it is that protects someone's precious thing. That becomes their form of justice. The police has its dark secrets. They're the reason you fell into despair. If people have been hurt because of the way the police have been protecting what's important, then their justice should be questioned and changed. Justice isn't about morality or regulations. If I lose what's important to me because I'm bound by such notions, then I don't need them. I don't agree with your way of thinking. As you say, defining it is a load of crap. Let's not sweat the details then. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. Let's have a fair fight. They both fell silent, as did the chamber. The only audible sound was the clock ticking. If need be, I can also... I stood on complete edge, ready to draw my weapon if needed. Yeah, I'm not above cheating. Then, the second hand clicked. There were two gunshots. I thought my heart I thought my heart would burst, but when I opened my eyes, I knew what had happened. <laughs> You've got skills, kid. Maybe this all would have been easier if you were on our side. Thanks. But you take the L here. 
I'd seen Sanjo's gun had been knocked from his hand. Simultaneously, Okazaki dropped to his knees. Okazaki! I ran in to support him by the arm and saw that he was bleeding through his shirt. You need medical attention! Damn it, Okazaki! <laughs> it's okay. It's just a flesh wound. Everybody says that! No! I took a handkerchief from my pocket and used it to bind Okazaki's wound. I was relieved to see that the bullet had just grazed him as he claimed. Oh, thank goodness. So, why didn't you shoot me? He did, just not fatally. That wasn't the turns of the contest. I'd only taken your weapon from you. And what would you do if I was carrying another piece on me? It was a contest, not a fight to the death. You didn't seem like you'd pull any dirty tricks. You're so childish it makes me want to puke. It might cost you whatever's so precious to you. No need to worry there. If you attacked me outside the rules of the contest, I'd kill you without batting an eye. How absurd. Oh, you're underestimating him. Huh? Just as I felt relieved, another strange sound came from the collar. It looks like it's back online. That elder works fast. But you made it in time. Sanjo flashed a bold grin and took a small device out of his breast pocket. Oh, thank God. He's actually honorable and living up to his word. Sanjo, what do you think you're doing? Oh, I just had an idea. Unilateral action will not be tolerated. Step out of line again and you'll be eliminated. Ugh, shut up already. Damn, I'm rusty. Huh? I felt the flash of pain on my neck and suddenly grabbed a hold of Okazaki's sleeve. What's wrong? W what? Sanjo, what did you do? Calm down. She didn't get the shot. The girl's free now. Huh? Well, then why did I feel a shot of pain? Or was it more just surprise and I <laughs> misfelt it? Huh? The metallic ring fell to my feet. I felt a cool sensation around my neck as air passed over it once again. Slowly, I realized that the collar that had bound me was lying on the floor. It's... off? Ichika. Leaning on Okazaki for support, I touched my neck. Now your life isn't in jeopardy. Thank goodness. Well, we kind of gotta get out of this base. Because we're still slightly in jeopardy. My eyes felt warm as I looked at him. He looked even closer to tears than I felt. Now, now we can live together. Realizing that made me unspeakably happy. Let's pull back for now. You're free of the collar, so we should regroup. I picked up the collar and took a moment to compose myself. You're right. But what if the cause of this entire tragedy is just up ahead? Don't lose your cool now. We've defanged them. They can't maintain the stalemate now that they've lost you. Yeah. No reason to take chances seriously. Not while you're by yourselves. Sorry to rain on your happy ending, but real life doesn't work that way. Huh? Okazaki raised his gun at Sanjo. We're not at a disadvantage anymore. You better not try anything. Told you, didn't I? All I wanted was destruction. The next instant... Oh boy, bombs. <gasps> Ichika! We were rocked by thunderous shaking and noise. Okazaki picked me up before I could even react. And we're going to be running again, or he's going to be running. Sorry for dragging you into this. Do your best to survive. I guess he's going down with the ship. Sanjo, you... My wish is to die here. Don't try to stop me. <sighs> Why the hesitation? You should get out of here, kid. You really have changed. I don't need your sympathy. I don't have anything precious to me like you do. I've already lost that. I was the same. But I reclaimed that thanks to her. You... Yeah, I get it. But I don't have what it takes to wait for that hope to arrive. You got lucky, kid. Take care of yourself. We're both of us. Uh. Oh, poor...
poor Sanjo. As Sanjo said that, a large mass of rubble collapsed between him and us. Sanjo! Okazaki, let's go! <sighs> you have to live! I looked straight into his eyes and said it. He was silent for a moment, then he nodded. Yeah, I'm going to live with you. That's all I have in my future. I decide that I won't waver anymore in order to secure it. Yeah! Uh-oh. Our path's been blocked. Oh, crap. What about another exit? I figure a terrorist hideout would need plenty of exit points. Let's find one. Okay. Let's keep going until we find some way out. I hope there aren't more bombs around here. Oh, there we go. I was wondering if the raid was going to come anytime soon. Sir! What happened inside? We only have some faint readings, but it appears there was probably an explosion of some kind. Uh, Yonagi, we finished deploying. Any contact from Hoshino? Not yet. She's definitely somewhere inside, based on our GPS location. We've increased the personnel on site, but I wonder how many more we can catch without any trouble. The operation is set to begin at dawn. No offense to Hoshino and Okazaki, but we can't afford to wait any longer. No, I'm sure that they'll give us an opening. Please delay as long as possible, Morioka. Are we going to run into the sanctuary while we're trying to find our way out? That's where we're going to end up giving them the opening? We desperately ran through the labyrinthine tunnels. The sounds around us gradually faded before long, as did the tremors. Deeper and deeper we went, until we found a door. After checking that there were no other paths, Okazaki and I went through the door. Yep, we found it. Beyond it was a chamber that seemed like a church. It had a completely different atmosphere than anywhere else we'd been in the complex. It was serene and holy, almost unnaturally quiet. Someone's here. Get behind me. Desecrating Adonis's holy ground. You must be rather ill-bred intruders. Uh, you're... I had seen his face somewhere before. On the news. Raimi Kuni. I recalled the man once Okazaki said his name. Raimi Kuni was a young politician and the son of the current prime minister. What's someone like you doing here? Is he part of Adonis? Are you the boss that Sanjo told us about? I am not, but Adonis is my life's work. I'm dismayed that it is being trampled now. The rank and file may have escaped, but to think you take down Sanjo. And now you're trying to destroy our base. Uh, we didn't take Sanjo down, he did that himself. Very well then. You've earned a meeting with the root of all this. Mikuni smiled thinly and looked at me. The cause of all this? Multiple hostiles. Five. No, six. Ichika, whatever you do, don't move. So you have a rather competent SP escort. You've rather grown in stature, haven't you, rookie officer Ichika Hoshino? Who are you? How do you know about me? I'm not obliged to answer that question. You've thrown everything into disarray. He's far less civil in this route than he has been in the others. My ideals, my future... They've all been crushed thanks to you. Actually, I think you owe that more to Zero and Sanjo than me. <sighs> Suddenly, Okazaki grabbed me and dove under a chair for cover. Okazaki! It's alright, I'm not hit. I examined his body in a panicked frenzy, but he was unharmed, just as he'd said. They've got so many people! We won't get out unless we're ready to kill them. Sorry, there's no way around it. We're facing terrorists. I'm prepared to drop my sentiments in this case, but how? This is a blind spot, so we'll have to move slowly, separate them and pick them off one by one. Then let me do it. Well, hopefully we're both really good shots. No. Okazaki, we promised. We'd find a way to live together. <sighs> there's no meaning in surviving alone. We're going to survive together. I'm a pretty good marksman, at least. I won't get in your way. 
Fine. But do everything I say. Yes. I carved every word he said into my memory, so I wouldn't miss any of his orders. I heard multiple sets of footsteps approaching. Oh, you finished talking? If you agree to hand her over, we'll at least spare you, Agent of the SP. I'd prefer to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. As Mikuni's voice reverberated through the church, Okazaki gave me an uneasy look. I returned it with a bitter smile. Please don't make that look. I won't sacrifice myself. Okay, let's go. We tightly held hands one last time, and then let go. Then, we drew our weapons. Northeast, 45 degrees, 3 seconds. Northwest, 15 degrees, 2 seconds. While giving simple commands to follow that we'd worked out in advance to not give our plan away to the enemy, Okazaki took the hostiles down. I think we took them down together, didn't we? When only one person beside Mikuni remained. Oh, oh no! Darn it! I'm, going, I'm shooting. I won't let you. Darn it, I wish I had saved right before that. Okazaki didn't miss Mikuni's small movement and pulled the trigger without hesitation. <sighs> Mikuni fell to his knees. I guess he was about to pull a gun. Once he confirmed he'd scored a solid hit, Okazaki rushed in. He seized a small device that Mikuni had been trying to operate and handcuffed the suspect. Ray Mikuni, you're under arrest for insurrection. We don't have time to waste, so tell us where the exit is. Can you hear me, Zero? Uh? Mikuni didn't answer Okazaki's question, muttering something instead. Hurry up, this place is coming down quick. You'll live if you get medical treatment. Zero, please, escape. I will surely... her. I'm contacting Yonagi to tell him it's too dangerous to assault, and that we have one wounded... Ah! There was another thunderous sound. For just an instant, it stunned both myself and Okazaki. Okazaki! Mikuni drew a gun from a breast pocket, pointed it at Okazaki, and pulled the trigger. Huh? It all happened in a few seconds. My body felt hot. Ichika! I heard him scream. Oh no, it can't be. I'd much rather take the bullet than him, but he's never going to forgive himself. Soft arms encircled and embraced me. I knew this warmth. It had enveloped me many times before. They were the arms of the man I loved. Why? Why did you take the bullet for me? Not again. I... I... The man I loved looked like he was in pain... I didn't mean to make him feel that way. I'm sorry. I struggled to move my lips. My voice cracked. No, it's okay. You'll be okay. We're getting out of here. He kept repeating okay, as if he was trying to convince himself. I tried my best to smile, hoping that it would make him feel better. But I wasn't able to smile that well. Yes, I'll be fine. I won't die and leave you behind. But please, on the off chance that I don't survive. No, I don't want to hear it. Let's go. Okazaki, I want you to live a good life. I said stop. Be quiet. Please, stop saying whatever you please. Don't give up living. Have hope for the future. I won't forgive you. You hear me? If you die, I won't forgive you. Okay. I said I wasn't going to die. I was just thinking about the possibility. I won't let you. I'll protect you this time. I absolutely will. Okazaki. While searching the body of the barely alive Mikuni, Okazaki found something. Got it. A sketch of the compound. Just hang on. In an instant, 
He picked me up and started running. As my consciousness faded, I could tell that Okazaki was running through the rubble while carrying me. I don't want to make him look like that. I didn't want him to suffer. I absolutely had to hang on. I had to live. For his sake. Just as I swore that to myself, my consciousness began to fade into a wash of white light. Mikuni or... Zero. Can you hear me? Well, he's actually here. This place is finished. Please, escape on your own. You've been a fool, Ray. As long as you live, the rebirth of Japan may still come. Even if Adonis crumbles, even if I die... You still understand nothing. Even in the end, you never understood the meaning of rebirth or the reason for Adonis' existence. The dream that we shared ten years ago. This nation must be reborn. Yeah, that's right. It would be possible if not for you. Zero, why do you look so sad? If Adonis fails, it can be revived infinitely. As long as the Malice runs wild, Rebirth will come. Yes. Thank goodness. You truly are a fool. I think you meant that affectionately. Okay, and actually we're going to stop the video here. Because we're going to have the ending, and then we're going to have the epilogue. And if I can fit it in, you know... I'll put in the um, extras, depending how long the next video ends up being. But yeah, I think this is a good spot before this ends up being like an hour some long video. So I hope to see you there for the conclusion. I really wish I could just continue it here, but yeah, like I said, it, it gets tough when the videos get too long. So like I said, hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.